Hey guys, alright, Friday evening, 7 p.m. or so, uh, just got back from work, and there are no eggs left, so apparently mom and dad decided to eat all of those, which uh, in a way I, I guess is good because they're not eating anything else honestly since I got them. Um, I'm not too concerned, I'm not too concerned they ate the eggs, that's what young discus end up doing, hopefully they can learn how to do this the proper way sooner or later. And uh, I'm not too concerned they're not eating food for me right now either. I mean, they, they've only been in this tank for about four or five days, still getting used to their conditions, and they just spawned. So hopefully they'll start eating well in the next day or two. While we're at it here, let's do a quick update everywhere else. These four guys are doing great still. They're just finishing up a meal. The algae eaters in here, when I can find them, look like they're doing very well. There's three of them in here somewhere, uh, along with three mono shrimp. Uh, I got CO2 running again on this tank. I'm still trying to dial it in perfectly. My drop checker could continue changing a little bit, maybe get closer to yellow. The fish don't look like they are being negatively affected by the CO2, so I can probably keep cranking it up a bit. Got five more autos in the bag here. Auto sinkless. There's one in the tank currently. And there's five more to join them. The remnant O's are doing good. The plants are doing all right. The algae is thriving. I haven't cleaned that off yet. There's some Amano shrimp in here somewhere. And a zebra loach. So once I get the algae cleared up, CO2 dialed in. Whatever plants are in here are doing decent right now. Not great, not bad. That red tiger lotus back there is uh, pretty huge. Some pennywort is covered in algae. Again, I gotta clean all that up very soon. The other discus. Everybody seems to be doing all right. Um, I am concerned about one of the larger ones. One of his gills looks like it's pumping really hard, and the other one's barely pumping at all. Did a real big water change yesterday. I'm hoping that helps him out. Uh, let's see, is it that one maybe? Well, whichever one it was, he looks better today than yesterday. Uh, I am a bit concerned it could possibly be gill flukes. I'm, I'm hoping that's an overreaction on my part. Uh, but the four young ones are looking okay. That's one of the bigger of the four young ones I think I got. That one is darker than the rest over there. They all look like they're kind of hungry. I'll feed them in a minute. And over here we got the German Blue Rams are doing as well as can be expected. That female uh, no longer appears like she wants to mate with this guy. So I'm going to wait and get a couple more females. Uh, this male used to be the number three in one of the other tanks. He is doing much better now in this tank up here with that lone black skirt. And my red tail black shark. There he is. Color on him still looks fantastic. This is a dirted 10 gallon tank. Uh, I kind of just threw the threw together the scape quick, but I, I do enjoy the way it looks. It does need some more plants. These are mostly trimmings from other tanks. That sword is the daughter of another plant in a 72 gallon. Uh, the three Pristilla, Pristilla Tetra. They're doing fine. Rasboras down here. They're all doing very well. Let's see, there's another German Blue Ram in this tank. I'm going to hang on the back on the side here after doing a water change and disturbing the gravel last night. That's hopefully going to have some shrimp one day. Back to the rams over there. Uh, two more bare bottom empty tanks. And the 72 bow front is... Uh, it's doing pretty well. A couple of rainbow fish in here. They're all looking nice. There is what I believe to be a pair of German blue rams in here. As a nice boat Monty, he's coloring up good. These two rams stick by each other's side and act like they're a, uh, a pair waiting to breed, but 
I've not seen any eggs yet from her. She's got that spot on her tail. It's not ick. It's been there for weeks. It hasn't gotten any better or any worse. When I first saw it, I raised the temperature in the tank that she was in, and there's been no change. I think that is one of those things that rams and other dwarf cichlids are sometimes prone to. I forget the exact name of it. It's essentially a cyst, I believe. All the other rainbows are doing pretty well. Plants are doing good in this tank. I, I still need to decide on a final scape and what plants are going where. Right now I kind of just have some trimmings from other tanks in here. Uh, I can't even name all the plants, honestly. Some pennywort and some other things floating up here. I need to really thin that out. It's starting to block the light. And that's about it for now. I'll check back in soon. Hopefully I'll have some better news to report on this tank with the next spawn.